For a select few graduated seniors in the state of Maine, this weekend's Lobster Bowl gives them one final farewell from the high school gridiron. You thought it was your last chance in high school, the last game of the season, but now we're given another one, so definitely want to leave it all on the field again. All the guys are great. It's great to be with uh, the best in the state, so it's, uh, it's, been, it's been an experience. One of the more unusual aspects during practice for the players is their role reversals, as they've gone from taking their rivals head on to swapping helmet stickers and playing side by side as teammates. Ready, fight. Getting to know some of these guys after playing against them on the field and not liking them so much, uh, they're really great guys. These kids create really strong friendships and I think you quickly forget what high school you're from and, and who your biggest enemies were and, and sometimes your biggest rivals become your best friends. While much of the focus in the Lobster Bowl is dedicated toward the players on the field, their focus is toward a greater good in giving back to Shriners. When I played in the game, they took us down to meet the kids and that was something that changed my life and I try to try to share that with the kids, you know, that you have to understand these kids need us and uh, the fundraising that you've done is, is, is just going to help so many people. Everything you put into this has like a good cause and outcome. In this, the 23rd edition, the West will look to continue their dominance in the series, boasting a 16 and 6 all-time mark against the East. I mean, I don't really think about it, obviously. I just want to win in general. I mean, the pass is a pass and I'm just here to play, win. No matter who wins on Saturday, both sides can feel victorious for their accomplishments on the field and more importantly, off of it. In Hebron, Chabasukost, News Center.